2019 is going to be an open year for the world, get it? Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, the top 10 open world games of 2019. Number 10 is Atomic Heart, a wildly inventive looking game that looks equal parts Bioshock, Fallout, and hey, let's exist in the Soviet Union. In fact, the story takes place specifically in an alternate history Soviet Union in which technological revolutions have already taken place. The open world this exists in appears to look nothing like anything else on the market, and that alone should be enough, I think, to get anybody interested in this game. But the idea of an exaggerated weirdness based Based on the real life secrecy of the actual scientific juggernaut that was inside the Soviet Union, I think makes for historical fiction that is possibly more interesting than anything else we've looked at that could somehow be placed in a similar category. It's a world that could not only say something about the past, but perhaps our own future. Very rarely has material made about the Soviet Union not also said something about the world as it is outside the Soviet Union. But one that is critical of the internal, even in an exaggerated way, I think can and will probably lead to a very interesting narrative that makes for a very engrossing and different world that I cannot wait to wander around in. Atomic Heart is coming to Windows, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4 sometime this year. Number nine is The Division 2, which Ubisoft has said, quote, We've made the open world in Division 2 so alive. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that's definitely marketing, but it's also a claim that when the game comes out, we can say is either true or false, and that's important. Ubisoft went on to say both enemy factions and the civilians will be out targeting different tactical locations, resources, acting on needs and goals. They really want to focus on making the open world feel kind of like a war zone rather than a place where you do objectives. Of course, that means a more unpredictable aspect to the way things work. And they said, running around the city is really interesting because you don't know what's going to happen around the next corner and your actions helping the civilians in the world you'll see translate into them becoming more capable, but also their homes will become little fortresses. And I think that stuff sounds pretty cool. Honestly, if your actions actually have an effect on the world in this way, and the world just constantly seems to be happening around you like, you know, the world is, I think The Division 2 could really build on the original into something that 